Well, I promised the hospital next door. What's <laughs> <laughs> that last time? I know, and it's true. It's, it's, go and have a look. That's it. Great God. How'd you go? Great God. Last time. That was just where everybody who's got buses to catch and trains to worry about. Clear off now. Because we're not worried, because we, you know, yeah. we get a check's yeah. rise, we can afford to actually get a taxi's rise. We're, all, we're not worried, you know. Now look, I'd like to say, I, I'm neglected to say thank you, of course. This is dreadfully boring. If I was watching this, I'd hate this. But I, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've got to say this. I'm afraid I've, I've been told to say this. But no, it's perfectly fair. I'd like to say thank you to our wonderful back line crew, as you might call them. The, uh, the stage manageress, Anna Roberts, who's done a wonderful job pressing all the right buttons in the wrong places. <laughs> um, we've also got... We've got no hold on, shut up! I'm the star of this, don't clap them, don't worry about them. Wait till I get to me, hang on a minute. Uh, and there's the, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, oh, Glenn Swanborough! Glenn oh. Swanborough! Oh. He's here somewhere. I don't know who that bloke was that stood up. There. He's, here. He's here somewhere tonight. And yes, he, he was the man. He was the man who, of course, invented the uh, principle of on stage and off stage manoeuvring on wheels. Now, I think that it's got to be something to be proud of. Not, you know, forget about scenery. You know? Because you see, would you, would you stop doing that? <laughs> I've had enough out of you tonight. Now, now, it was about, all his work is based on the three fundamental art forms that are at work today behind popular culture. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, the old man. Oh, yes, I, bit, I forgot to mention our lighting crew. Our lighting crew, this is the last night, so you have to forgive this bit of self-indulgence here on their plant, not mine. I do this for a living, you see. <laughs> this guy's here on the lights. Oh, I nearly slipped back into carriage then, that's bad. These boys, these lads, well, uh, one, of, one of them wears a pink triangle on his shirt, actually, but uh, knows, uh, no one knows what it means. It's all right, no one knows what it means. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Ron and Pete. Who, who are the people who screw the light bulbs in and change the little bulbs? <laughs> so, well, uh, well, uh, well. They get all the lights and shit as well. They make me, they make me feel completely near standing here in total blackout darkness when I'm supposed to be in the office. And so I can't find the next scene. I can't see me script or be notes or nothing. Now, I was going to tell you about the three fundamental art forms behind popular culture today. They are namely. What are they? Quick! <laughs> <laughs> they are namely. They are namely. Ex uh, non expressionism, no, minimalism, constructivism, and futurism. You've all seen it in the NME. Let me see. It all happened in the 20s. That's how far behind the times the NME actually is. <laughs> These three movements, let me explain very briefly what they are. Minimalism is art produced by people with no money whatsoever. <laughs> constructivism, constructivism is produced by people with a little bit of money. They have to build everything themselves. <laughs> done tonight. And futurism is simply, it'll be all right on the night. <laughs> <laughs> the next time you see those terms in the enemy, you'll know what they mean. Now, I've got, now I've got your, uh, your young, unformed minds at my disposal. <laughs> so that I may indoctrinate them with evil doctrines, with, with revolution get up, get up, quickly! <laughs> Someone just went backstage, he looked like he was armed. <laughs> <laughs> see, theatre is dangerous stuff, you see. Very dangerous stuff. I'd just like to say one more thing. I'd like to thank the people who sold me these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible shoes. I, I, I scoured London for a pair of gum shoes, you see, and I actually ended up going to Foster and Sons. Shut up, fungus. <laughs> So I, I, I scoured London, looking for a place where I could get a pair of gloves. I went in the end to Foster and Sons in German Street, with a sign outside that said Foster and Sons boots makers since 1863. And I thought, my God, they've got to be quicker than that. So <laughs> I managed to get them. So um, I think that's about all I can actually, um, I can actually unlock from my fast horde of uh, impromptu humour, which we've never heard before. The old ones are the worst, in fact. Now, I will now 
bid you a good night, and thank you for coming. Well, in fact, if anyone... No, hang on. If anyone did, actually... Anyone had a low ecstasy threshold? It wasn't that good. But if, they, if you did, please tune it up for the next show, which is... Actually, this is the last show here, so that's good. Now, you can do what you like now. Good night. Thank you.